Hello everybody, it's Wendy. Um, I've got a different kind of Dollar Tree haul for you all today. And I'm in my car, just came out of the Dollar Tree. Um, there's a little story behind this haul, I guess. Um, I work in Huntington and I have to walk from my um, parking garage to where I work. And there are a lot of um, homeless people that live around, or that are around that area. And um, so the other day I was walking to the garage and there was an old man and he was digging in the trash. And it just broke my heart. Um, you know, I know there's a big controversy about what to give to the homeless and whatnot. And you know, people say, well, they're homeless because they choose to be, and some are, I'm sure. But no one wants to have to dig in the trash for food ever. I don't care what their circumstance is. No one wants to have to do that. So um, I didn't have anything with me. Usually I have leftovers from lunch or something. I had nothing with me to eat. And so I um, prayed about it. And I was like, God, what do you want me to do? Because this is really touching my heart and I know I'm supposed to do something and I don't know what it is. And so I felt like that he told me to come to the Dollar Tree, who, you know, he knows it's my favorite store, and buy a bunch of stuff, like food items, and a bunch of gallon size Ziploc bags, make them up, keep a couple in my, my purse when I walk back and forth, and keep a bunch in my car. So when I see somebody that needs something, I won't be unprepared again, and I will have something to give them. So, you know, and it's food. It's not like I'm handing them money to go buy. You know, Huntington's really terrible for drugs and um, I don't want to enable somebody that way. And there have been times that I felt like that I was supposed to give somebody money and I have, but um, I don't always have any money. <laughs> and um, So anyway, this is a good solution, I thought. So I came to the Dollar Tree today and so this is mostly going to be a food haul for that but there are a couple other things that i picked up in here too so if you want to hang in for it um we'll just jump right in so to start off i got the gallon size ziploc bags because this is what i'm going to put the stuff in you get 15 in a box and i'm just going to start i'm going to make 15 bags up and see how fast they go and if i need more i can come back and get more but 15 um gallon size bags for a dollar and then I got um, mandarin orange cups I tried to find you know just a bunch of individually wrapped stuff and these were three to a pack and you know fruit that's good so mandarin oranges they had I got two mandarin oranges I got a pears they have pears and I got peaches so I'll put those in the bags, little cups of mandarin oranges, pears, and peaches. Um, this is not related to the homeless thing, but um, Chris and I ride the motorcycle a lot. And I always get out on the motorcycle and I'm missing something that I need. And I try to park on the edge of the parking lot where nobody is and it never fails. There's always people. I mean, really, who thought people would be over here? I'm like totally by myself on the edge, but there's people. They probably think I'm crazy, but anyway I got this zipper pouch to put a few things in I got a brush because when we ride on the cycle if for some reason I forget my ponytail holder which never fails and there's other people parking right beside me now unbelievable um, if I forget my ponytail holders my hair is a tangled mess so um, I got a brush got this little thing Got, I'm trying to wait till these people get out of the car because I know they think I'm crazy. There they go. See them? <laughs> They're on video. <laughs> and the guy's sitting in the car waiting. So he's going to watch me video. Lovely. Um, I got this Nerds uh, lip gloss. It is, um, they have Nerds, they have Skittles, they have all different kinds. But um, I wanted this one because now he's pulled the car out and he's pulling back in. So I don't know what he's doing. Now he's getting out. Okay. Oh, I'm distracted. I'm sorry. Um, they have Skittles. They have Nerds. They've, I've seen them in like Vanilla Coke, um, Mountain Dew, all different flavors. But I have the Skittles one at home. And I think I gave Chris the Vanilla Coke and maybe Landon 
the Mountain Dew one. I don't know, but I wanted to try the Nerds. So that's going in the motorcycle bag for an emergency. And I have one more thing for the motorcycle bag, but I'm not sure where it is. So when I find it, I'll pop it up there. Um, back to the homeless haul. I got some um, water, little bottles of water. These are six, um, six bottles in a package, eight fluid ounces of water. So I know that's not very much, but it'd be enough to give them a drink. And you know, I figured that would be good for the haul. Oh, um, fruit snacks. These are awesome. <laughs> Curious George. There are eight pouches. It said used to be six pouches. Now you get eight for a dollar. So those are great to stick in the bags. There's my keys, which are down in the Dollar Tree bag. Um, sorry, I'm a little scattered because of this whole in the car thing. Here's some more peaches. I got two peaches, two mandarin oranges, and a pear. Um, got a bunch of these. Now these I'm gonna also put, um, I'm gonna put them in the bags for the homeless people, but I also bought um, some more of the little organza bags I'll show you when I pull them out. And I'm gonna put my business card and one of these in the little organza bags to put on my vendor table at my next craft show. So people can just take a little bag that's got my business card and one of these in it. But I'm also gonna put these in the bags for the homeless people. I got two bags of those. I like these because they dissolve. I don't like, I like these better than the Starlight Mints because these just dissolve, they're yummy. <laughs> oh, I got three bags of those. Um, and then these I thought were pretty cool. These are Minnie's Rich and Creamy Sandwich Cookies. They have banana cream, orange cream, vanilla cream. Um, oh, vanilla cream with chocolate, vanilla cream with vanilla, and strawberry cream. And these were 10 packs for a dollar. I've never tried them, but I don't think you could really mess up cookies and cream. It'd be really hard to. So anyway, I got two packages of these to put in the, the bags for the people. Um, I got some double bubble bubble gum to put in the bags for them. Oh, this is the other thing that goes in the motorcycle bag, Kleenex wipes. Um, it never fails. We get out on the motorcycle and I've lost something that was important. Like, I can't find my hair tie. I just had it. Or, you know, I can't find my hair tie and we go down the highway at 70 miles an hour so my hair is like super tangled so I need a brush. Or, um, our hands get all nasty. Today we went to Coonskin Park and climbed out on a rock and I had like mud all over my hands and feet and nothing. You know, we're in the motorcycle. So I got these put in the bag too. So they will be very handy. Oh. <laughs> And a little thing of Purell to put in the Dollar Tree bag. Um, not the Dollar Tree bag, the uh, motorcycle bag. And this is, you know, I really should edit my videos, but I don't. So I thought this was cute. It says Purell, it says be blissful. I don't know why it says be blissful, but it did. <laughs> and I just thought it was cute. But it'll be very useful on the motorcycle. Um, let's see what else I have down here. Oh yeah, these. I like these. Um, these are Junior Dippers, Cheese Dip, and Pretzels. There's a bunch of those. There's five for a dollar. So those will go in the bags for the homeless people. And I got one, two, three, three of those. Those will be great. Here's the hair ties to go in the motorcycle. Of course, all of them won't go in the motorcycle bag, but some of them will. So when I lose my hair tie, there's a backup. Oh, we were out of toothpaste. So I always buy the toothpaste at the Dollar Tree. I mean, why pay like you know, a lot of Walmart when you can get a thing at Crest for a dollar. And it's the same size as the ones at Walmart. So there's that. Oh, these notes were so cute. I didn't need them at all, but they're cute. And I was at work the other day and couldn't find any sticky notes. I know I had some on my desk somewhere at some point, but they were gone and I needed some. So these are sticky notes and I thought they were so cute. They say, create your own sunshine. And they had different different ones. There was a blue butterfly one that was kind of rainbow and there was a blue one and I think a pink heart. I took some pictures of things at the, this Dollar Tree. They had some really cool, they had like Shopkins scented markers um, by Crayola. They had several things I took pictures of and I'll try to put those pictures if I can figure out how to put those pictures um, on this thing. <laughs> I've seen people do it, I have no clue how. But I will try, and this thing is still waving in the wind, just like it was in my last Dollar Tree haul. And speaking of my last Dollar Tree haul, I just want to let you know, I'm still on a search for an air freshener for this car. This is a Scentsy brand, and it smelled for all of like a half a day, and I'm going to take it out because it gets in the way. Um, 
Then I bought one of those gel ones and I found it the other day, but now I can't find it again. That's got like oil in it that you stick in your vent. It never smelled. I held it up to my nose and it didn't smell. And then I bought one of the ones that twists up. It's like a gel stuff inside and put it under the seat in here with high hopes that it would make the car smell good. And Chris noticed it one day. He was like, hmm, the car smells good. And now you can't smell it at all again. So if you all know of a good car air freshener that like lasts and maybe I'm dreaming and that they don't exist, I don't know. But I would love to find something to make this car smell good for more than a half a day, um, you know. And it doesn't have to be Dollar Tree. I would pay a little bit of money for something to make this car smell good for more than half a day. So there's my rabbit trail, I'm sorry. Off the rabbit trail, here's the organza bags that I buy at the Dollar Tree. I buy these to put jewelry in when I sell it. I also buy them to um, put, I'm gonna put the little mints of my business card in, so there's that. Got some Smarties to put in the bags for the homeless people, and I may put a few of these in the um, business card bags also. I got two bags of those. And on to the last bag here. Got a bubble mailer. These are always good. I sponsor um, three children. One in, okay, let me think. There's three. There's one in Guatemala. Her name is Estella. Ara Sandy lives in Mexico. And Diego lives in Bolivia. And I send them things in the mail, like toys and crayons and stuff like that. So um, Ara Sandy is due a package. So I will send it to her in Mexico in this bubble mailer. So that's what that is for. Here's more waters. I got like three of those. And last but not least, I got a Lipton green tea because I'm really thirsty. It's 96 degrees here right now, 96 degrees. And Chris and I have been on the motorcycle all morning. We drove to Charleston, we drove to Coonskin Park, we drove to uh, Pies and Pints, we drove all over the place. And so, yeah, I'm really thirsty and I've been talking and I've been shopping in Dollar Tree. So I am going to open my Lipton green tea and I am going to um, get a little refreshed and then I'm going to head home. And thanks guys for listening and um, you know, comment below, let me know what you think. And if you know of a good car freshener, please, please let me know because I got to find one. I can't find one anywhere. But y'all have a great weekend, Father's Day, happy uh, Father's Day to all the dads, grandpas, uncles moms that are dads to the kids you know happy father's day to everybody and i'll see you in the next haul have a great weekend thanks